Hey folks, I'm back with another track guide. Today I'm at Oren Park in the Formula Ford. Great track this, highly underrated. I think there's going to be great racing here this week. I'm looking forward to it. If you like the video, please do give it a like. If you want to see more of this sort of stuff, please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, and also, if you're feeling extra, extra generous, uh, please do consider maybe buying me a cup of coffee to help fuel my next set of laps for next week's track guide. All right, folks, have a really good one and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Okay, here we go with my 109.956 here at Oran Park. Um, we are in default weather conditions for this week of racing. And I haven't changed the brake bias. We're obviously in the fixed setup. So we're coming down the back straight. And we're keeping the car as far over to the right side as we can. And we're looking for this green patch of wall here. And as it ends, we're going to tip the car in towards the inside curb. And what we want to do is try and make sure we come out of the throttle a bit before the curb starts and we're straightening up the car a little bit and aiming the car out towards the outside of the track. We're into the brake and notice how slowly I build up the brake. Normally in this sort of car, you know, you're heavy onto the brake initially and then you're coming out. We're doing this to keep the car basically heading in a straight line otherwise we're gonna uh, because the car's off balance because we're turning and braking we'll end up all over the shop so you've got to really carefully build up the pressure on the brakes notice how we're now positioned on the right hand side of the track we're ready to start coming out of the brakes and turning in we pick up the throttle as soon as we can we've got lots of exit to play with here i could have taken more um, with uh, more exit, which means I, I could have uh, approached a little bit faster. We're up into third briefly. And then at the start of this curbing, we're going to um, go heavy into the brakes, drop it down second. And then we're coming out of the brakes really quickly at turn in. And turn in here is essentially the end of this curbing. Uh, so we're going to really draw out that brake, keep it in second gear. Get that car rotating and get on the gas as soon as we can. Got a lot of exit here. Uh, again, I could have used more exit, which means I could have carried a little bit more speed. So for this tricky little right-hander, we've got this little uh, kind of tyre stack here on the left-hand side. We're going to come out the gas just before that. Some medium braking briefly. And then we're going to turn the car in. I turned in a little bit too soon here. So I ended up a little bit too tight. I caught the inside of the curb. Didn't cause me too many problems. I probably lost less than a tenth. Um, I should have turned in just a fraction later. Uh, but what we want to do is make sure that we're not using all of the outside of the track here. We need to keep it relatively tight here. We need to take a shorter line around here as opposed to a, a longer, faster line. It's just slower out there on the outside of the track. And we're looking for this bridge. And we want to come out of the gas just as we're coming to the end of the tyre wall. And we really want to tip the car in quite hard to the inside. Now I came right out of the gas and really threw the car in here. You can actually just come out 
of the gas about sort of 80 percent and then gradually build it up again um the timing's really tricky on that and it's very very easy to run out of exit so i've taken this approach just because it's more reliable lap by lap for me uh, so the car's nice and tight to the inside we're up to third any second now uh, and then just at the end of this uh, grey curbing, just before the other curb starts, we're going to turn in with some light brake. And we're going to maintain that brake just as we approach this inside curb. And you can use all of that curb, which then allows you plenty of room for this left hander. We want to float the car out a little bit. And as this curbing starts, we're going to turn in and brake. So that means we need to brake very lightly. And we're going to hold that brake all the way in to the apex of the next corner. Very light brake. You don't need much, but you do need to aggressively attack the inside of that curb to make sure you don't run out of exit here. Just going to come back to mid track. We don't need a lot of room here. We do want to use this curb on entry and we want to basically follow um, the, the line of the second half of the curb. Obviously, this is completely blind. You can't see the next curb at all. So as long as you're tight to the end of the curb, then you're pretty much good to go. And then we're going to let the car float out wide. And we're looking for this little patch of dirt on the track and the tyre marks that cross over, create a cross there on the right-hand side of the track. That's going to be our braking marker. We're braking downhill so you need a little bit more brake than you think, but then we transition to uphill. So as the car compresses down into the track, you can actually come out of the brakes a good bit. And we want to pick up the curb um, pretty much uh, as tight as you can. You, you do have to be pretty careful on this inside curb here because the grass drops away really, really quickly. There's a very thick lip there. So if you go over this inside curb, it's actually really going to cause problems for the car. So we've got to be careful. We want to use it, but we've just got to be very mindful um, of, of the dangers there. And then we're building, we've built up the gas plenty quickly. Loads and loads of exit here, but it is a wall. So we've got to be careful. And that concludes my 1 minute 9 seconds, 0.956 here at Oran Park. Hugely underrated track this. It's going to be a great track for racing here this week. Um, best of luck to you. I hope it goes really, really well. If you like the video, please do give it a like. If you want to see more of this kind of thing, please do subscribe. And if you're feeling extra, extra generous, uh, then please do consider buying me a coffee. It'll fuel my, my lap time uh, for next week's track guide. Cheers, folks. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.